kama dhi nyime en ni riwruoge mopogore opogore e boma ma Kisumo obedo kod romo mano endo mabene gitwa gode e wi kaka inyalo ket arita makare ne nyithindo kod joma mine e kinde mag yiero romo no ma bende ne onywando migao mar doho mar obila kod manendo mar ti mar kit chwech e kinde mamoko no romo kendo ne giyango kaka gido mondo mi koro gibed ni gibro tiyo e weche go mag yiero ma bende kikel lal kata hinyruok ne jopiny to kelo mna lokruok ne jogo eko ma bende dware ne gikwayo ni arita makare ne jomogo eko ma bende nigi ngol nyithindo kod joma mine mondo mi obedi mondo mi koro sani ka koro ganda dhi yiero kigibed gi hinyruok e kinde go eko mag ombulu Today we had this special occasion to meet as partners together with our colleagues in government to talk about issues around elections and the most important aspect of it, that is the safety of vulnerable groups, particularly women, um, people living with disability, children, as well as our young people. And the meeting today brought together our colleagues from the National Police Service a representation from the judiciary. We also had uh, colleagues from the Department of Gender. We had colleagues from from civil society network, um, as well as national civil society groups, including uh, German Foundation for World Population, popularly known as DSW in Kenya. We also had a representation from the National Human Rights Commission, all convened here to discuss specifically the issue of ensuring safety of children, women and youth, both during, before and after elections. And our, our intention is to hopefully convene um, a one-day workshop that will bring together key decision makers in Kisumu County to talk about the plans they have for safeguarding children and the vulnerable groups that I've talked about. Uh, so basically, Kusumu being one of the hotspots in, 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 in uh, elections in this country, it's important for these agencies to come together and talk about the safety of these groups. And this is why this group is meeting. We hope again to meet next week and one more meeting just before the elections happen in August and come up with very long-term plans on safeguarding these vulnerable people. So once again, we really want to thank our colleagues in the media because it's important that these issues we talk about are profited appropriately and positively. That at the end of the day, Kisumu does not become uh, again that notoriety in terms of what it's, uh, it, 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 it's always been uh, called out for. That's violence. We would like that violence to be a past thing. We want elections to be something that is positively uh, celebrated, but not something that's always feared. And we can only make it so when young people, women, those, with, uh, those who are disabled, as well as even our businesses, are safeguarded and remain as strong even after the elections. This is why we are having these meetings and we hope that at the end of the day we are going to have an election where everybody is going to come out happy and children are going to come out as strong and as happy as always. So that is the purpose of this and we hope that the, the workshop that we are learning and we are going to have, we bring together these key decision makers that will include governors, the directors within the county, key people who are in the space of protecting children, including our national police service, uh, to share their plans on what they have for uh, safeguarding children.